We founded Spirit Yachts in 1993 in some redundant farm buildings in darkest Suffolk and the very first Spirit that we built was the subject of endless discussions and endless cups of coffee uh, through a very bad winter. And in the end we got fed up talking about it and I said right I'm going to go and draw this boat. And then we built her in about five months flat, put her on the water and she went like a rocket. And we called her Spirit, which was I'm afraid nothing to do with ghostly wraiths or anything soul searching like that. It was entirely to do with the amount of whiskey that I felt we had to drink in order to get through the project which explains the, the company's logo, which actually is a distiller's flask in, in homage to that. And that was the beginning of this whole story. We decided to build in wood because that's what we knew. It would never have occurred to me to build in anything else. I have, I have a huge love of wood. I have a, a massive respect for what it's capable of and what you can create in wood. The, f the first few boats we built were variations on the first 37 footer and then we built a handful of boats around 46 foot. Then we got a commission to build a 70 footer which was interesting because in, the shed was only 60 foot long. So we spent two years building a 70 footer with this ridiculous extension on the end of the shed. Um, and uh, when we finally took it down and took her out of the out of the shed, it was actually the first time we'd been able to see her properly. I have to say it was quite an emotional moment that. But to get her from darkest Suffolk to the water was a bit of a challenge and we thought it's time to look for somewhere new. <laughs> uh, which is how we come to be at our current premises, Waterside in Ipswich. Spirit Yachts is based on the east coast of the UK at Ipswich where we have a large facility where we can build, launch and commission the yachts. The team we have here is mainly made up of some of the finest craftsmen, joiners, electricians, engineers and painters. But on top of that we've got a design studio where we've got naval architects and interior designers. Spirit Yachts, Power and Sail all share a common core ethos where we build beautiful wooden yachts with outstanding performance built to the highest level of skill. The whole process, the whole design process with a, a potential new customer starts with a pot of coffee and a piece of paper sitting around a table in the office. Very often it'll involve going through other drawings we've already done or other projects and we'll use those as a spark to set off down the right track. I draw by hand. I draw by hand on the board mainly because I love the process of drawing and I can think better through my hand than I can through a mouse. Once we've got go ahead to proceed all my drawings are translated into CAD and then the whole computer process takes over. At Spirit Yachts, the sustainability of the yachts is really important in three categories. The, how we produce the boat, how the yacht operates in its life and at finally its end of life. So if you start at the beginning, how we produce the yachts, first of all the most important element is where we get our materials from. So the timber, which is a huge bulk of the yacht, has to be sourced really sustainably. So that is where the wood comes from, the forest, are they replanting and how that's all managed. And then onwards, how that timber is turned into planks that we can use. So it has to be machined and dried and we use air drying to really save any energy going into that timber. So that process is of vital importance to us. It's important when we start our conversations with the customer to really understand how they're going to use the yacht and try and balance the power management of the yacht to what they're going to use it for. So for instance, if they're going to live on board, we need to think about the creature comforts of the boat, the air conditioning, the hot water, and those sort of functions, and work out how we can make them all happen using the minimal amount of energy, either diesel or electric power, and then how we replenish that. The process of building a spirit yacht is fundamentally the same whether it's a power or sail yacht. It starts off with a designer specification collided with the customer, and then we start laminating the ring frames. These are laminated on a flatbed table to exactly the design specification because of the heart of the build. We then set them up on a strong back frame where you'll see a row of frames stepped along before we plank them and then we finish the outside to make sure it's absolutely perfect. It is then picked up in a crane and rolled over the right way up and set into a cradle where we'll start building the interior furniture and fitting all the systems all the way throughout. When they're done, the deck goes on, followed by the timber deck finish, do all the varnishing and painting, and then we bring her outside and we launch her. 
then obviously the rigging and the masks go on and there's a commissioning process from then before the customer comes along and that goes for a trial sale. Performance and style is at the heart of every single spirit we produce. Not only do they look exquisite on the water, but the performance whilst you're sailing is a delight. They are fast and comfortable yachts to sail. Everyone at Spirit takes great pride in the craftsmanship of everything we do. The level of detail that goes into every aspect of the yacht is really important to everyone who works here. The launching of a Spirit is a very powerful moment, as much for us as it is for the owners. And then it's, it's equally wonderful to see them actually sail away because they're going off into their, their proper life, what they're designed and built for. It's possibly one of the most rewarding things one can do in one's life.